We want to simplify the given complex fraction. First, notice how the largest fraction bar is this fraction bar here. So to begin, we're going to simplify this complex fraction on top by first determining this difference, then determining this difference, and then simplifying this top complex fraction. So looking at 4x minus 1 over x, we can write 4x as 4x over 1. Then we have minus 1 over x. Notice to find this difference, we have to obtain a common denominator, which would be x. So we'd multiply 4x over 1 by x over x. And then for this difference here, we can write 1 as 1 over 1. And then we have minus 2 over the quantity 2x plus 1. Notice to find this difference, we would use the least common denominator of 2x plus 1. So we'd multiply 1 over 1 by 2x plus 1 over 2x plus 1. Of course, all of this is still over this fraction here, which is 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 over 3x. Now, finding this difference here, notice how we have a common denominator of x. And the numerator would be 4x squared minus 1. All of this is over this difference, where notice how the common denominator would be 2x plus 1. And the numerator is going to be 2x plus 1 minus 2, which would be 2x minus 1. And again, all of this is still over 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 over 3x. Now for the next step, we'll focus on this fraction bar here. Remember, a fraction bar means division. So we have this fraction divided by this fraction. What we're going to do, though, is write this division problem as a product. So dividing by this fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of this fraction. So we can write this as, again, this top fraction of 4x squared minus 1 over x. Instead of dividing by this fraction, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of this fraction. So we'd have times the quantity 2x plus 1 over the quantity 2x minus 1. And this is still all over this fraction here of 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 all over 3x. Now before we find this product here, though, we do want to simplify as much as possible. So we want to factor the numerators and denominators. But the only thing that factors here is 4x squared minus 1, which is a difference of squares. So we can rewrite this as, again, 4x squared minus 1 in factored form would be the quantity 2x plus 1 times the quantity 2x minus 1, so over x, times the quantity 2x plus 1, which I'll put in parentheses, all over the quantity 2x minus 1 in parentheses. And again, this is still over 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 all over 3x. So notice in this form, there is a common factor of 2x minus 1. 2x minus 1 over 2x minus 1 simplifies to 1. So notice now inside the parentheses, we have two factors of 2x plus 1 in the numerator. And the denominator would just be one factor of x. Now once again, this fraction bar here means division. But instead of dividing by this fraction here, we're now going to multiply by the reciprocal. So we'd have times 3x over 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. Let's write this in factored form. This will factor into two binomial factors, where if we have two binomial factors, the first terms will be the factors of 4x squared, which will be 2x and 2x. The second terms will be the factors of positive 1, which would be 1 and 1. And to check this, we want to verify the sum of the inner product and the outer product gives us the middle term 4x. And notice that 2x plus 2x does equal 4x. So this is factored correctly. And this works out very nicely because notice how we have two factors of x plus 1 in the numerator and two factors of x plus 1 in the denominator. So 
this simplifies nicely to one. We also have a common factor of x here. x divided by x simplifies to one. So this final product is just three over one, which equals three. Which means this complex fraction simplifies to three as long as x does not hold a value that makes any of these denominators equal to zero. So notice how x couldn't equal zero or negative one half because those values of x would make one of our denominators zero and division by zero is undefined. I hope you found this helpful.